you're looking for a non-traditional science for your middle schooler or your high schooler, then today's curriculum spotlight may be just what you're looking for. And today's video is one of my most requested <laughs> videos from the school year and one of our top hits of the year. And I would safely say it's one of our top five hits of our entire nine years of homeschooling. And that is the Guest Hollows Chemistry in the Kitchen curriculum. Now, Chemistry in the Kitchen. Last school, last spring, actually, yeah, like last, it was, this was one of the first things I bought for this, for this past school year. I bought it in like February or March even. And I stumbled across it on the Well-Trained Mind forums. I'd heard of Guest Hollow and I'd looked at their website, but I hadn't really, I just really hadn't dug into much that they had for the older kids. And I really wanted something different for Elizabeth Science this past year. She was in eighth grade and I wanted something that was, it was our first year to split up our science and history. And I really wanted something that was fun and for her and independent and just something that was, just something that would really fit the bill for her. So I went searching on the well-trained mind boards and came across this. And I really can't say enough good things about it. It was the perfect thing for last year. Now, it is a non-math based chemistry class designed for high schoolers. Because Elizabeth will likely end up with some kind of a science major, we didn't want, I didn't want to use it as her high school um, chemistry class. So it was perfect for eighth grade for that reason. Um, but the, it is written for high schoolers. I just adapted it for her. Um, the cost for the program is $25. That is for their part. That does not include the books that go with it. In, for the $25, you get the day-by-day -day schedule. You get <laughs> a study work and workbook that, honestly, I completely missed, I completely glanced over it on my order form. I don't know what happened. Until I started preparing for this video, I completely forgot it existed. And <laughs> it also included another thing that I didn't realize was included, which was um, a packet of vocabulary and recipes. So <laughs> those would have been helpful throughout the year. And then you also get the book list of what you need. I have not explored the study workbook and the packet obviously because I didn't know they existed and then my link expired and I haven't contacted them about it yet so I couldn't download it anyway I'm sure it's helpful and I wish I would have had it but moving on um so that does all of that comes included so just check your downloads more carefully than I did <laughs> um the only place to buy it is on their website guesthollow.com that link will be down there as well as far as the books and supplies go for the curriculum, almost all of the books we got through our library system. There was one book that was not anywhere in our state's library system, so I bought, purchased that one. And then the second one, the Dr. Joe and What You Didn't Know book, is used throughout the school year, so I did purchase that one, and I purchased it on Kindle because it would be difficult to keep checking out books, check out the same book for the entire year. So that those were the only books that we bought. And then the other supplies were like food uh, for the different recipes. So that just came out of my grocery budget. Before I move into the pros and cons and all of those details, I want to just tell you a little bit about the program. It is designed, I mean, it's a five day a week program, although it's very easy to adapt because we didn't do it five days a week, that mixes chemistry, obviously your elements, with food, there's some mixing up, bringing in of history and some biographies to give you a good strong basis for what chemistry is. Um, there are videos, there are books, and the books are like books you get from the library, not textbooks. The, there are quite a few books listed but they specifically say you cannot do everything that's in 
that they list on the schedule every week unless that's all you're going to be doing in a day <laughs> there is just too much so it is written for you to adapt and pick and choose what books you want to do what books you don't want to do videos there's plenty there and you get to pick and choose what is going to be best for your student which i really love thinking about it for elizabeth as i was going through it i was thinking that when ben gets to this age if i use it with him there are definitely differences that i would different videos or books that i would choose for him or her so i really appreciate that um that there's that you can really adapt it to fit your child um the books most of the books on the list i think are pretty easily manageable for either a high school or a middle schooler now you know elizabeth is not that's not her strong suit um not a stronger subject of reading and literature language arts but it worked well for her so um i will have an accompanying blog post where i will list the resources that we end up choosing there's too many to list <laughs> in the video so i will have a blog post that will be linked below and i'll have those details over in it she would spend roughly four hours three to four hours a week on her science days would vary a little bit based on what else we had going on as well as how much was listed was already scheduled for that day now so a dipple day might be something like five to ten pages of reading from one of the food chemistry books learning about an element a little bit of reading the there's supposed to you're supposed to buy a book of the same title for it i ended up buying these little flashcard things because i thought it would be this would be good for to use with my boys as well because we did chemistry and they were really good they just had a picture of you know the element in action and then the details about it so she would have one of these and then she would watch a video about the element and then she might have um a reading out of a book called dr joe and what you didn't know which was really good they were short questions that had something to do with chemistry or science and they take about maybe five minutes to read maybe my boys liked to listen to it too so we would usually read them all together um another day might be another dr joe one an element and then cooking activity the cooking activities generally she could do by herself with a little bit of supervision an older you know an older teen would should be able to do most if not all the cooking activities by themselves so that's kind of what a typical day would look like again we spent three to four hours a week on it you could absolutely adapt it if you needed more science you can do that if you needed less science you can do it that way as well so pros number one it was independent almost all of it she could do by herself with it, as far as that cooking goes a little older kid a little more confident kid could definitely be do it on their own i wanted something that gave her the details of what she needed to do so that she could take ownership of it as an eighth grader she's just moving into that total independence and so i wanted something that guided her there so this was an excellent for that number two <laughs> pro you got to make a lot of good things we especially loved there's a spice chocolate cookie that was really good um marshmallows that was a fun one to do um so yummy food always a good thing um and several of them were not just desserts they were foods that she could make for dinner so we planned wednesdays for her cooking day and she would often have things that would go for the dinner like fajitas there were some potato recipes roasted veggies those sorts of things number three pro there's a really helpful facebook group for um, asking questions what books people liked what they didn't like what recipes they liked someone has made up quizzes to go with to go along with um some of the books so or some of the weeks so that is nice 
Um, another pro is that I really loved the mixture of, um, there, were, there was history that got brought into it. There were videos, there were printables, there was all kinds of different learning and learning subjects as well as learning styles that you could use to do it or to adapt it for your family. I also really love number five, the flexibility. That's probably one of the things I love the most is that it's really designed to be flexible. You can absolutely choose what will work for your family. There are weeks that are more full and weeks that had less to do. So um, that was good because some days, some days she could get through two different days of scheduled activities where other times it took her two days to get through one day. So it's flexible that way. This It is not written for a full 36 weeks, so you do have flexibility even within that. Um, yeah. So, um, cons. One con, though, is going to be that you have to do some editing for the plans. Now, once you have that done, you're done. There's no, it's open and go after that but you will need to go through and figure out which books you want to use and which you don't. I checked out several of the books beforehand before the school year started and just went through and looked. Did it look like something that would keep her interest? Did it, um, and just chose which ones we wanted to do from there. In the Facebook group there, she does list some of the books that are the most important in her opinion, the writers, the curriculum writers opinion. So, um, I didn't have that beforehand. I didn't, I didn't look for that question. Um, so, but that would be something, you know, you can go and check out that. Um, and I just, yeah, I just went through and looked for the ones that I thought would be the most interesting. Since we were using this as a middle school, I really wanted it to be fun and not something that I, something that she looked forward to each day. And so that was always in my mind as I was choosing books. Um, so you do have to do that. Um, I did it within, you get a PDF version of this and then one in Word. I did the editing in Word so that I could take, just delete out all the different things that I wasn't going to use. But you could absolutely just print it out and then mark out what you don't want to use. Um, Another con would be that some of the suggested recipes were not hits for our family. Um, the like the salted burgers one we did not like. The, and the rest some the recipes come from the books that you are reading. So you know what? In fact, the only recipes that were misses for us were the ones that were in the What Einstein Told Us Cook book. Um, all the other ones or hits, but there were a couple that were misses for us and they came out of that cookbook, right out of that book. Um, so is that really a con? Well, I don't know. For us it was a con, but I guess I can't really say it's a con for the curriculum because other, I mean, different families, different tastes. Um, so this would be a great textbook if you want, or a great curriculum if you want something that's not traditional. If you have a child who is not, who doesn't need a math-based science or chemistry class for college. Um, for a student who really likes to be hands-on, this would be a great choice. If you have a child who really loves food, but you need a different, but you need a math-based chemistry, I think you could really do a, a job, a good job of adapting this to making it more, fit more into a, like a home bec type class or career exploration class because there's you really learn a lot about the chemistry of food and the kitchen. So yes, it's a chemistry class, but I think it could really be adapted easily more to the food if that's what you need. If you have a, like I said, if you have a high school student who needs a math-based chemistry, this is not Good, not going to be a good choice for their science, for the for their chemistry credit. I think it'd be a great one though for like a senior year math. If you only need two or three science credits, 
this would be a great one to do kind of as a last hurrah of your senior year. It is easy to implement and it's open and go once you have chosen your materials. I can't tell you how long I even spent doing that because I spread it out. Um, it didn't seem to me like in uh, a, um, an excess amount of time for the curriculum. Um, less than I would have spent building it myself. So, <laughs> um, obviously I don't use it now because Elizabeth has completed it, but I do plan to keep it for the boys when they are in kind of an eighth grade-ish range. So details. Again, the things that I did end up purchasing was one of the books, which was the Culinary Reactions book. I really enjoyed that book myself. The Dr. Joe and What You Didn't Know book, because that's the one that you need all school year. And then I bought the element cards instead of the book by the same name. And this is another one that you need all year long. So um, I would consider purchasing this one and the Dr. Joe one. Just so if, if nothing else, those two books. Um, a few of the books that we deleted, I did delete because I couldn't find them in our system. Um, and they were not, not ones that I thought would be interesting enough to her that I should purchase. Um, on their website, they do have a couple different samples of different weeks. So you can see what a schedule looks like. I did do two of the books as audiobooks as well. Um, what Einstein Told Us Cook and I didn't write the other one down. I think it was called Stuff Matters. I'm pretty sure that's one. Um, I already had purchased those myself through Audible, so we just did the audio of those. Several of these books were available through Overdrive through our library, so do be sure to check that as well. If you haven't already watched, I have a video on an, an extension that you can use for Chrome that will, if you're on Amazon or Goodreads, will search your library systems for different books and tell you if they're available. Um, so before you go searching, if you're gonna buy this, be sure to watch that video so you can add that extension um, so that you can see the, how to do it that way you're not having to buy anything that you don't, it's available through your library. Coupon, guest haul. Guest haul, as I mentioned, made up a coupon for my viewers. It is good. It's 10% off this chemistry until August 23rd. The code itself will be down in the down bar. And a thank you to Guest Hollow for making that for my viewers. And I think that's all. If you have any questions, you know the drill. Leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer any questions about the curriculum or direct you on if I can't help you. The Facebook group I will also link down below. And thanks for watching.